So we have to become very realistic with each other right now. If you're thinking about real estate as a solution to get away from your day job, probably not going to work out well for you. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the VIP Financial Ed YouTube channel. Want to talk about real estate today, seeing a lot of conversations happening, speculating what's going to happen into the 2022 year. And I'm here to tell you, I don't think it matters whatsoever. I think most people here on the channel have about a snowball's chance here in Florida of ever replacing their existing income by purchasing real estate, no matter what happens with the pricing. And I want to break that down with you today and get into the actual numbers, because I think the numbers tell a very easy story. And if you were to just pay attention to this, or if this was shown to me 20 years ago, when I started getting involved in real estate investing, I would have come to realize very early on that long-term buy and hold real estate, whether you're using it for long-term rental purposes, or whether you're trying to short-term rent it as a host on platforms like Airbnb or VRBO, that it's just not a viable solution uh, and it's just unaffordable. No matter what happens with the pricing, they could go up, you know, prices could continue to rise at uh, historic rates. We could see 7% increases, 15% increases. It won't make a difference. We might see a complete market crash and uh, some of you may get your wish and prices come down by 10%, 20% or more. Um, again, I think the equation will speak for itself. Luckily, we do have solutions regardless, but I think it does boil down plain and simple to making more money. So let's go ahead and just dive right into the example because I don't think it has anything to do with where are the forbearance numbers now, which are at about 1.4 million current active forbearances. Where are the current foreclosures? Uh, somewhere around 15,000 less foreclosures uh, announced in the month of September than pre-pandemic. So from that standpoint, things are looking pretty good. It seems like the, the solutions are in place from the uh, stimulus. That, that stuff is actually working. The banks have done a good job of protecting people. Um, doesn't seem to matter that Zillow has completely folded their fix and flip department and uh, that that inventory and, um, and, and those layoffs uh, are happening. Um, doesn't seem to matter what the interest rates are going to do, whether they inch up by a quarter percent next year or not. Doesn't matter. So let's talk about the equation that I think proves my point here. Let's start with a relatively conservatively optimistic purchase price number of say $300,000 per property. And let's say that those properties require 20% down payments in order for you to qualify for the lending. At 20% down, you better be prepared to fork over $60,000 per each acquisition. Now, on top of that, you're going to see 3% in closing costs, which adds another $9,000 to that per property transaction. On top of that, you're probably going to need to have some rent readiness maintenance costs invested into the property where you put some fix up into it, maybe even just some cosmetic work. We're going to leave that out of the equation just because I want to prove this point with such uh, a, a widespread that you walk away realizing that uh, this may not be the answer. So we're at $69,000 per property at this point. Now, based on competition alone, based on people overpaying for very minimal net cash flow positions, I would say a $500 per property net cash flow is currently optimistic. That would be a very competitive starting point. You would be competing with many investors at that level. At $500 per property, if you wanted to come up with just say $10,000 for your household on a monthly basis in order to walk away from your existing income streams, you're going to need 20 of these houses to do that. Now, if you multiply the $69,000 per property cost out of pocket without any maintenance or upgrades to the property at all, you're now at almost $1.4 million necessary. $1.4 million out of pocket, not to mention on each one of those properties, you're going to have a $240,000 first mortgage position. So now you have not, you've, you've put yourself into a almost $5 million debt load, and you're walking out of this situation with 10K per month in income. Now, let's go ahead and say that these numbers are still expensive and you find a pocket of inventory that can cost you substantially less than that and say you're in the $150,000 purchase price area, which are becoming much, much harder to find. But let's say you stumble into uh, an area where you can still buy at that level. Cut everything I just said in half. So instead of 1.4 million, you've got to come up with $700,000 out of pocket just to generate a $10,000 per month revenue. Folks, this is not your solution when it comes to short-term net cash flow. Short-term net cash flow is required 
if you want to step away from a day job. Now, from a long-term net worth investment strategy, this is a good formula. Doing this, say, one, two, three properties per year if you can afford it, and doing that over an extended period of time, and tucking those into a portfolio that 15, 20, 25, 30 years down the road you still own, of course that has proven to make many people wealthy. But the average household is not going to be able to afford a, a, a large number of investment properties. And I've seen that after 13 years of coaching, about 140 new coaching members each and every year. So over 13 years, it's somewhere around 1,800 intense one-on-one -on -one coaching relationships that I've developed where I coach every single month. Uh, I've coached many, many people for free. In fact, as many as five people a day for many, many years for free as on, on a one-on-one -on -one level on a free coaching session. To see people with more than five properties in their portfolio is extremely unusual. I would say low single digit percentages of people I speak with that have that number of properties or more. So we have to become very realistic with each other right now. If you're thinking about real estate as a solution to get away from your day job, probably not going to work out well for you. However, there are actual short-term net cash flow solutions that exist where you can make 10, 15, 20, $25,000 each and every month. And you can do so without this huge upfront commitment. It might be the same amount of money out of pocket that it would cost you to acquire one home and you can finance the entire thing. So that's where I want Michael Matthew, my co-host here on the channel to chime in. Uh, we've been working together now for, boy, it's gotta be almost eight years, somewhere in that ballpark. For the last few years, we've been talking about the solution that he and his business partner created called Little Pink Houses of America. They're headquartered actually here in Florida. And time and time and time again, for literally three years here on the channel, we've heard success story after success story of people that have gone in and with a part-time effort, we're talking maybe 15 or 20 hours per week on a consistent level, making those types of dollars each and every month. And if you're making that extra type of money on a side hustle level and you it's just free and clear net cash flow that you can take and invest, now we have a, an actual working formula where we can be acquiring real estate safely that's affordable. We can now afford that real estate that we're buying and we can grow our long-term net worth portfolio at the same time as our short-term net cash flow solution is being built. So Michael Matthew, tell me a little bit about more, you know, more behind this system, because I know since we spoke last about this, you guys have added an arsenal of, um, of tools and resources where people can make even more money. It's not limited to just this sort of higher end um, uh, wholesaling formula or subject to formula that you guys have, have created. It's a, it's a really marvelous system. Uh, before I do that, let me throw out your email if that's okay, just so that people can get in touch with you directly. Uh, and you guys can start to, to open up some dialogue and see whether or not that the person is a fit for this. Uh, guys, if you're interested in finding out how you can make 15,000 or more every single month with 15 or 20 hours a week in effort, and I know a lot of people talk about this, but this is a true business in a box. And I'll put in the uh, description below a playlist of people that are just like you who started probably skeptically and have heard, oh, all these magic wand solutions exist. And they actually got in and are achieving really great results. So check the playlist in the description for, for people's input of what their experience has been like. Otherwise, reach out via email and have a dialogue with Michael as well. The email address is pink like the color at vipfinancialeducation.com. Again, pink at vipfinancialeducation.com. Michael, take it away. What do people need to know about this? Yeah, and I appreciate uh, being on the channel here with you, Matthew. Always a pleasure. I uh, love talking to our folks here. Uh, we're still really excited about this opportunity. We've been doing this for about eight years, been here on the channel kind of discussing it. This and we can drop the playlist below, but I've talked time and time again about this being a really inelastic business model, good market, bad market, everything in between, um, you know, our business is going to thrive and we have even throughout the pandemic. But what we've done during the pandemic is like many businesses, we uh, we had to pivot. We bolted multiple investment strategies onto our executive lease purchase, which, you know, we were the best at what we did, but we were for years, you know, kind of that one trick pony, if you will, we've bolted on. Uh, fix and flips. We've got capital behind that for investors that want to go out and, and, and get and obtain those properties. So now we do have funding behind us. 
Uh, we can do the subject twos. We can obviously do kind of that low end wholesale model. We call it the Swiss Army knife at this point because as opposed to just having that one really, really sharp knife, that tool in our toolbox, we now have seven strategies that we implement and we train every single one of our affiliates on. So if they're out there in the field and they can find a, a lease purchase deal, those are great. They'll pop those 10, 15, $20,000 not lay a single nickel on the table in order to uh, get that asset under contract. They might may find some wholesale deals. They may find a fix and flip that the numbers really work. We're going to consult them on all of that. Obviously, all of that would be under our umbrella, but uh, branching out and bolting on those additional strategies has really been helpful for people. We're even doing traditional deals now. Uh, which you know we hadn't done really in the past, but we've really kind of cracked the code on doing traditional deals without our folks having to be licensed agents or brokers as well. So our folks can go into really any market out there, assuming that the market is available and have tools that are going to uh, help them to adapt with any market condition. And, uh, and, and we love that, uh, that flexible approach that we offer now. What would you say should disqualify somebody from this? I think one of the most important things for us is to agree this isn't a good fit for everybody. Um, who are the people that would 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 bomb by by attempting to work this formula? Yeah, you know, and we've got all walks of life that are on board with us at this point. And, you know, I try my best not to prejudge on the phone. I mean, there's some certain things that really stand out when I'm handling these initial phone calls to see if, you know, we're a good fit for them, they're a good fit for us. First and foremost, it's going to be if they don't, they just simply don't have the time. I mean, that's going to be the biggest disqualifier there. You know, if people are working, you know, kind of that, uh, that W-2 position, and they get home at six o'clock at night, and they don't have the, really the willpower, the, the desire, or the ability, you know, for whatever reason that may be to put in, uh, to not put in a couple hours at night and, you know, additional hours on the weekend to get that 15 to 20 hour work weekend to make 15, $20,000, you know, if that's not worth it, that time exchange for money is not worth it, or they don't have the ability to do that, they would not be a fit. You know, this is not a, again, I've said over the years, not a get rich quick, you don't roll out of bed and, and become a millionaire doing this. But if you can put that time in consistently, and consistency is, is again, probably the second component to that. Do you have the time to put into it and can you do it consistently? And that consistency is what's going to ultimately build the sales pipeline where you start getting those deals month in, month out. So that would be the biggest disqualifier would just be simply lack of time. And well, maybe I, I would argue that one thing I consider to be a plus for this business model is mm -hmm. uh, that a lot of it is phone based. So oh, sure. I like that. It gives, mm -hmm. a, it gives a, a lot of geographical freedom, which is top of my list in terms of lifestyle design, whereas other people may see phone time. And you, I, I remember at one point you called it the thousand pound phone. And <laughs> oh, right. that, that stuck with me because it's true. I mean, early in my call it sales career, uh, having to spend time on the phone sometimes was agonizing because I was just so nervous about the rejection aspect. It was just picking that up and dialing numbers of the lead sources that you guys provide which is another big plus for this business model is that you guys provide the lead sources. I think that's huge, right? So just kind of going down the list for me is the lifestyle design formula for this hits my check boxes, right? I want geographical mobility. I want the ability to make my own schedule. Number two is the earnings potential, being able to earn several hundred thousand dollars per year, but also be able to scale it out mm -hmm. and build a team that works with you and truly des design this as a business having that upside potential without a, a cap to the ceiling is a must have when I'm looking at pre-qualifying any type of short-term net cash flow solution. Um, so those things are really popular for me, but I would argue that somebody who's not comfortable being on the phone or doesn't have great social skills is probably not gonna be a good fit for your model. You know what, and you say that, and I can't wholeheartedly disagree with that, but we've had some folks that have come on board, first and foremost, as people that are so averse to, to picking up the phone, a lot of them will call themselves out right out of the gate, and their intent is to have a team, you know, fairly uh, soon getting started that, you know, they've got someone on their team that's going to be, that's going to be their key responsibility is really making those phone calls. So some people are cognizant enough about their own kind of abilities that they know that they need to outsource that to, you know, to someone on their team immediately. Uh, but some people have really surprised us, really surprised themselves. They took it head on. Uh, obviously we've got tried and true scripts, so they're not just winging it. Right. So if you can, you know, kind of study up, be coachable, trainable, can follow a really 
kind of um, uh, just a, a, a really laid back approach script. It's not a hard sell. So people feel more comfortable with it once they obviously learn it. But we've had people that were terrified of the phone and now they're just crushing it. Uh, and, you know, they're the first ones to pick up the phone, uh, you know, and we've got training calls and things of that nature. So just that kind of paradigm shift for them has been really neat to watch. So um, don't disqualify yourself necessarily because of that, although that would be something you want to take a look at internally. But again, like you said, team building is a big part, big component of our training. So if they know wholeheartedly that's not something they ever want to do, we can discuss that as well on some alternatives to that. And you guys, I, I came to Michael and said, listen, I think because of everybody who's pushing me about their, their uh, enthusiasm regarding the the New Year's resolution that's quickly approaching, uh, you know, turn of the year is always a big time for people to sort of push that recalibration button. And, and I think anybody who's been sidelined the last couple of years is starting to realize just how much opportunity they've missed. And everywhere I've turned and, and really dove into opportunity has paid off in such a major way the last few years. And I hope people aren't going to allow another year to pass them by. So for that reason, I said, you, you guys should offer the audience some form of price break in light of the turn of the year. Uh, I know that's something you're willing to talk about on the phone with people. You also mentioned that there are new financing options that didn't exist before. So anybody who's looked at this perhaps, or you're going into the description and you watch the playlist, which I encourage you to do, because we get into a lot more detail in some of our other videos about the specifics behind this business model. Um, you know, Maybe reconsider it again. If, if there were ever a price objective, uh, I'm sorry, objection, uh, this this might be the time for you. Um, and, and here's the thing, folks, if you can get in and you can get financing on a business where it's costing you, say, 500, 600, 700 bucks a month, and you're earning 10, 15, 20, 25,000 per month, it would be a huge mistake not to go in and leverage yourself into that opportunity, provided you're willing to put the work in and actually follow a, a proven approach, a roadmap. And again, so much of this sounds so ridiculously cliche. It sounds, it sounds gimmicky, but it's the same way I've achieved success in everything else I've done. It's the same way every person that's in the playlist below that talks about their success with this model has achieved it. So consistency is the number one ingredient towards any success in any business model, whether it's Little Pink Houses of America business model or, uh, call it Michael and Katrina's BNB bootcamp model. You have to be willing to put one foot in front of the last one. And, uh, you know, for fear of beating that horse too dead, I just want to emphasize it that, that uh, that's what makes this work. And the only time I've ever heard of this not working for people is because they weren't consistent, period. People who, who don't achieve success in my coaching by applying the, the banking techniques that we teach about in order to maximize their results and pay off debts and get better credit scores and, uh, and maximize cash flow is because of their inability to be consistent. The times I've fallen short of my goals, it was because I wasn't consistent. It doesn't just apply to money. It applies to health and fitness. It applies to relationships. It applies to spiritual wellness. So uh, let's not forget that this all does fall on our shoulders. And as Michael said, if you're not in a place right now where consistency can be uh, a daily thing for you, then you probably want to avoid reaching out at this time and maybe reconsider it down the road. But if you're saying, hey, this is my year, 2022 is going to be a game changer for me and my family. I want to get away from what my life has been, then please do send an email and see whether or not there is a region available for you. I will tell you that the only other downside that I have, have constantly thought about with this Little Pink Houses model is that it is reduced to only geographical availability. This isn't a anyone can get in anywhere. Uh, there have been so many people in the Atlanta market at this point who have reached out and said, I want this market and it's gone, guys. I'm just here to tell you that this is a much like a franchise. You know, if you bought a, a subway business, you wouldn't want subway to sell a, another subway to somebody in the same strip mall. You, you have to be protected um, geographically and Little Pink Houses does a great job of that. So just know that one of the other big qualifiers here is where you live and where what, what market you would be working in uh, because it there's a good chance at this point it won't be available to you. So make sure you email pink at vipfinancialeducation.com, pink at vipfinancialeducation.com. You've got to put your first name, last name, and phone number in the email body or you won't 
hear back. So make sure you're including all your contact information. Michael and his team can reach out and talk more about this with you. Watch the playlist from the description. We'll put two in there. One will describe, you know, interviews that I've had with Michael that get more into the details about the model itself and what they're doing. But let's not forget that this is a new version of their model. It's a new and improved version. So there are going to be uh, better uh, strategies now than in those previous interviews uh, that weren't included in those conversations. Um, and then watch the second playlist of other people that are involved with Little Pink Houses to hear what they have to say about their model and the team there and the support that they get. Um, it's, it's something I'm proud to stand behind after three years of consistently standing behind it. And it's not often I see that happening here on YouTube where people are willing to continue to put their name next to something. Um, uh, unless the reputation continues to be protected. So um, I appreciate everything that you guys have done, Michael. I, I, I hate to come to a close so quickly on this video, but I think there's plenty of information for people to look at in the, in the description uh, through those other playlists. And uh, until we see you back on the channel again, I appreciate everything you guys are doing. You guys are knocking it out of the park. Yeah, I appreciate being on here with you. Yeah, guys, we're super excited about 2022. We've got new strategies now that we're coaching, we're implementing. They've been baked into our business in a box. Uh, you mentioned the financing options. Uh, we do have some new funding resources. We do have in-house financing options now. And like you said, uh, you did come asking for, um, you know, kind of that New Year's resolution discount, which we're happy to provide to the uh, to as a channel partner and obviously to the folks that are, you know, looking to get off the sidelines. We love to work with people and help them change their lives. There's really no better way to do that through real estate. Like you said, there's some issues with going out there and laying capital on the table. We've got a great solution to that problem. And, um, you know, if folks want to talk to us about what that uh, kind of promotion looks like, I'll be happy to share that with them over the phone. So you gave the email pink at VIP financial education.com and I will be following up with them ASAP. Awesome. Thank you so much for reminding everybody because I do think it changes everything when you actually have a leverage point in. People don't actually have to come up with the money themselves. So truly no money out of pocket if you're able to finance into the, uh, into the opportunity. And then you just allow the results of what you do and the efforts that you put in cover the actual cost of running a business. And I think that's a, a unique privilege in this case. So sounds great. Looking forward to seeing what people do with it. Keep us posted. Oh, thank you. All right, thanks, Michael. What are your last couple deals? Let's go ahead and add them up. I don't, I've don't. i got the calculator in front of me right well, now. Well, the last two deals were both visible flips. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them was 38,000 mm -hmm. and the other one was 27,000. I didn't expect that, it was unusual, but that was how it happened to be because there were houses that was difficult for the realtors and the realtors have tried it mm -hmm. and couldn't make it work. So uh, between the two deals, yeah, $65,000 on those two. Uh, so a 38 and a 27, correct? 38 and 27. And it cost you how much? It only cost me contract? for one of the transaction, it cost me a transaction, um, uh, what do you call a transaction loan that cost me $2,000 and then uh, 1500 for a uh, legal fee. So that was three and a half thousand dollars in all. Got it. So just net net, basically, I mean, you're still north of 60 yes. on those two deals. Yes. Oh. And, and I'm very humbled. Are by you upset? It. No, no, I'm very humbled by it because I didn't expect it. Come on, we don't expect it. If I could get 10, 15, 5, I'll grab it any day for a FISBO flip, right? Mm -hmm. It just so happened the circumstances are, and we learn to articulate the best for all parties. Yeah. In the end, nobody questions me how much I make or is unhappy because they're happy with what they're getting, you know? Yeah, so sure. 